Hello and welcome to Top Dog Traveller. Ever wondered what not to do when you're an expat in the Philippines? Well, sit back and relax as we delve into some of the many cultural faux pas to avoid in the Pearl of the Orient. First, let's talk about general conduct. You see, bargaining is common in the Philippines, but demanding half the price or getting aggressive is a big no-no. Instead, offer a fair price with a smile. Skipping greetings or forgetting to use PO and OPO for elders is also considered disrespectful. Always remember, a warm greeting goes a long way. Being excessively late, engaging in overly public displays of affection or invading personal space are also frowned upon. So remember to respect time, public decorum and personal boundaries. Next up, we have social norms. For instance, pagmamano, a gesture of respect to elders, is a tradition you don't want to skip. Also, Filipinos value emotional sensitivity, so dismissing tampo or someone's hurt feelings can cause further upset. Prying into family matters, disrespecting authority figures, or making crass jokes are also faux pas. So keep your humor lighthearted and your conversations respectful and non-intrusive. Now, let's talk about cultural practices. Dressing inappropriately in religious spaces, complaining about local dishes, littering, and ignoring safety precautions are all actions to avoid. Instead, embrace the culture with an open mind, respect the environment, and prioritize your safety. Communication is key. Refusing to learn basic Tagalog, shouting or using offensive language are all pitfalls to avoid. Instead, make an effort to learn simple phrases, speak calmly and politely, and refrain from using inappropriate terms. When in the Philippines, it's important to respect local customs, traditions and norms. From bargaining respectfully, acknowledging tampo, performing pagmamano, to learning basic Tagalog and respecting public decorum, every action helps you integrate better into the Filipino community. As we delve deeper into understanding Filipino culture, it's crucial to avoid missteps that could potentially offend the locals or come off as disrespectful. First, always use respectful language and steer clear of slang or idioms you don't fully understand. Misinterpretation can lead to unintended offence. Secondly, non-verbal communication is just as important as verbal in the Philippines. Facial expressions, gestures and body language might differ from your own culture, so observe how locals communicate, and if you're unsure about a cue, don't hesitate to ask for clarification. Interrupting conversations is considered rude, so make sure to listen attentively, wait for your turn to speak, and respect the conversational flow. In addition, be mindful not to exploit local resources. Taking advantage of cheap labor or engaging in unsustainable tourism practices harms the community. Support local businesses responsibly and pay fair wages. Avoid making negative comparisons about the Philippines or comparing it unfavorably to your home country. Instead, appreciate the unique qualities of the Philippines and its people. Also, don't ignore the historical context of the country. Being insensitive to historical events or contemporary social issues can be seen as dismissive. Take time to educate yourself about the Philippines' history and challenges and approach them with empathy and understanding. Flaunting wealth or privilege can be seen as insensitive due to economic disparities. Practice humility and respect and avoid making assumptions about people based on their nationality or perceived social status. Stereotyping is harmful and inaccurate. Remember, get to know individuals as unique people and avoid generalizations and stereotypes. This is just a guide and not an exhaustive list, but it should help you navigate your interactions in the Philippines with cultural sensitivity. So avoid these faux pas and enjoy your time in the beautiful archipelago. Remember, when in Rome, do as the Romans do. When in the Philippines, do as the Filipinos do. In the spirit of our journey of cultural exploration, we'd like to invite you to continue this adventure with us. But before we wrap up this video, don't forget to hit that like button if you found this information useful. Want to share this cultural guide with your friends and fellow travelers? Go ahead and hit that share button. Let's continue to explore, learn and respect the diverse cultures our beautiful world has to offer. And to stay updated with our latest content on travel, culture and lifestyle, make sure to subscribe to Top Dog Traveller. Every click supports us in bringing you more valuable content like this. Let's continue to explore, learn and respect the diverse cultures our beautiful world has to offer.